Now, just across the road, there are some uh, gravestones uh, standing where you can see Andrew. Now, these gravestones are like a wall and they really intrigued me because uh, one of the subscribers actually gave us heads up about this, Andrew. Okay. About these uh, headstones and uh, check the Google map. Fascinating. And yeah. I just thought, what is it all about? Because I thought, from what I read, they're from the old Bell Chapel and I got confused. I thought it was the one in Thornton. But... So, yeah, this, this was actually built in 1806. 1806. And it's, yeah, it's a, uh, the Great Horton Bell Chapel as it was known um, and over the years it's well it, it's pretty pretty awful pretty sad to look at all this um, it's not not great is it um, and it looks like it's just survived a full yeah. demolition but it is a listed building yeah um, but over the years it eventually became an infant school so next door you actually have a school for boys and girls, so it's segregated next door. Yeah. And then this would have been for the, the tiny yeah. infants. Um, and I know that when it eventually closed, they were looking at uh, quarry, quarrying this area for the stone right. to build a boundary. Now, that kind of makes me think, instead of quarrying it, did they just take up the headstones and make a wall? Yeah. Seems to make a bit of sense, really. Yeah, we'll, we'll get a bit closer and we'll have we a look will, at the inscriptions, yeah. yeah. Yep. So it might be just a little bit of a... Yeah, we'll just go underneath here. And we'll have a look at this building. Obviously, it's burnt down. We'll have a closer look. Yeah, of course. Let's see what's on here. See, this is what threw me, because they're quite similar to the old Bell Chapel in Thornton. They you know, are. They're... they're of that age. Yeah. So, uh, I mean... You... If it's from 1806 onwards, you've got 1817 on this next one. So some, uh, some very early ones based around the actual chapel itself. Um, it's just amazing how they've done it. It's just a wall. Yeah, they, I think they've actually used metal bars at the back to hold it together. But... Um, Again, if they were going to demolish the building originally, yeah, to then build a wall, they've obviously used the resources that they had in front of them. So this, uh, yeah, there's a, what what I find intriguing is, is this graveyard still populated with bodies? That's a question. I can't say I found anything to say that they were removed. There's nothing, there's no sort of, in the newspaper, bodies at old, you know, the, the Bell Chapel have been excavated. I've not found anything. So right here. So could we actually be stood still in the graveyard? Yeah. Just do not know, do you? No. Which obviously is absolutely awful when you think if, if that's the case. Yeah, we'll just go to the end of the wall. So that gives you an idea, because on the other side, it's just plain. Yeah, it's, they're, they're yeah. all blank, but there is, yeah. a, there is a metal bar. You see, that, that sort of piece of metal there is, is fairly modern in comparison to what's at the other side. The other side is a, a really old, riveted almost. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you, you've all these people. Where are they? That's a question. I've not come across anything in Schoolmore to say this is the site of yeah. the Bell Chapel. Yeah. I've not found anything. Well, Undercliff's too far away. Bowling Cemetery might have, but again, I've not seen anything to mark it out. So it's a bit of a mystery is this one. There's a bit of a clatter in the background somewhere going on. But if any of our viewers know anything about uh, this particular um, piece of land or if they know where the bodies have gone, we'll be 
Shall we just interested have a, to know? Yeah. Have a quick. Obviously, it's dangerous. We're not going to go in. No, no. We don't say anybody should. Oh, Andrew, I've just noticed some inscription across there. Shall we? Yeah, I'm trying to read it from here. It's um, this vestry built. Can't just make out the date. Uh, the chapel repaired. Um, which it needs repairing again now. Let's get a bit closer and. Uh, yeah, just watch I'll just the raise the camera, see if you can actually. Uh, chapel repaired by the town uh, in 1823. Reverend J.C. Boddington, incumbent uh, of the Gummersol. So we've had a look at the Bell Chapel, but. Um, I found this picture, hand-drawn picture in the newspaper, 1899. I just wondered to myself, where's that in relation to this? So we've got the wall over there, but it's not on this site. And then did a little bit of searching and it's across the road. So we can actually see that as we walk past in a minute. Okay. Um, apparently there used to be some stocks there for naughty people. Right. local drunks and everything so we can probably show you where that was yeah. what i've got here is that corner there is that wall over there with the big tree is just there yeah okay. so if Let's we just wander up it. here So that's the, the old parsonage building. Oh, right. so, uh, so that's that house there. Right across there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's the original gates there. <laughs> that have been taken out. Yeah, there it is. So it mentions we'll cross over now. Let's have a look. So you can see this is at a lower level, hence lower level, but it's, it's had a lot of modification. Okay. But then it mentions about the stocks. And when you look, there's the stocks. Yeah. They must have been there. Right, so this is the building in question. Yeah. And? So I'll go and stand where I think they were. Right. That here. So I'm stood where the stocks were. So this is the Naughty Boys Corner. Well, it does mention something about them. The old bell school and the stocks. So in the schoolyard was a pair of stocks, which were a terror to the evildoers. Uh, Constable of Hort and used uh, now and then put noted characters into them for drunkenness and disorderly conduct. So it's also indicating that apart from the parsonage, this must have been a schoolyard as well. Right. But on a night time, you must have got uh, locked up. So I believe on that building, you've got another feature to show us. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll walk around and you'll be able to see the actual uh, bell tower area. I wonder if that's listed somewhere. This is obviously the old track that used to take you up to the school uh, at the far side of the old chapel um, but this pretty substantial lot isn't yeah. it there must be a listing for it somewhere well, what does it say there junior center at top of drive right all right behind there's the old bell chapel okay let's okay. have a look at this other feature all right that's a modern version of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Surround, surrounded by a residential. It's a strange one. It is. It's, um, it's kind of an unfortunate view, isn't it? Yeah. Being left far too long. As you can see, it's become a bit of a dumping ground. All fenced off.
So this feature here has basically, you've nailed it. This is the building we're talking about. It is. The Old Bell Chapel. Um, as you can see, it's still, it's so worse away, but, uh, so what you would have had up at the top there would have been a clock. Yeah. Now there is reference that it never actually got put in there. Right. So uh, unless somebody knows any different, I don't think it ever had the clock. Can you just about read what's written uh, underneath? Joseph Beam and John Broad uh, Broadmeyer Church Broad Wardens, 1808. Right. Uh, to be honest, it's a bit dark on the uh, the video, but it is what it is. But well, I don't know. Um, so the the plaque underneath the window, this chapel. Uh, subject to parish church of bradford was built oh so it's a subscription uh built by subscription in the year 1806, 1806 so it's yeah. connected with bradford parish church that's what right. it's saying um so yeah it has its roots with the city center it's definitely on its last legs yeah you can see Cracking, yeah. cracking the wall as well. Well, that's it. That yeah. would have been caused by fire in yeah. some respects because the heat expands. Yeah. Um, Let's take a view from the back. To be honest with you, if we go over here, we can probably match up the picture that I've got. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look. <laughs> well, it's not, it's not exact, but... Ooh, there we go. There's a bit of a tab missing at the top. It's probably fallen off, I don't know. Very much. That, that would have been what's classed as the bell tower. Yeah, yeah. Um, the bell would have been there, but the clock, I don't think. Yeah, oh, interesting. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's in a dilapidated state, but it does have some history. And... The big question mark is that the still is that the graveyard? Is it still populated? Yeah. Unless somebody can tell me otherwise, I can't find anything to say that it's not. Right. So thanks again, Andrew. Yeah. No. Uh, worries. There's me thinking the old Bell Chapel was on in Thornton Road, but uh, Great Horton. There was another one. Yeah.